Ray, in uh, just a moment, uh, we're expecting uh, the royal family uh, to arrive uh, here at the mortuary. Uh, the visuals that you're seeing on my screen at the moment, the Gauteng Premier uh, David Makura, of course, as uh, uh, the head of uh, the province, together with the uh, KwaZulu-Natal uh, MEC for Community Safety, Peggy Nkonyeni, uh, standing alongside uh, the Gauteng Premier. In just about a moment, we're expecting the uh, royal family to arrive and of course we're not expecting uh, there to be a uh, very long proceedings taking place here what we do know is that uh, the members that are representing the KwaZulu Natal provincial government together with the Gauteng uh, provincial government you heard uh, the premier earlier say that uh, he will be accompanying the mortal remains uh, of uh, the departed queen Her majesty Manfombi Lamini Zulu and uh, I understand uh, five MECs will be accompanying the Premier. And uh, I'm not sure if you could see visuals uh, towards this particular side. While COVID protocols uh, at this partic particular point, Desiree, have to be adhered to, what I can see from where I am is uh, some of the residents around here in Brompontein who are standing on uh, some of the high-rise buildings here wanting uh, to get a glimpse as uh, the mortal remains of uh, the departed Queen Her Majesty Mamfombi Zamini Zulu will leave Johannesburg uh, to KwaZulu Natal. We do know of course uh, as we've indicated that um, she will be interred um, on Thursday and of course um, we do understand that operations have been underway there for a while now. Our colleagues have spoken to quite uh, a number of uh, the family members there. A bit earlier on today, part of the rituals at Desiree that took place included a group of maidens uh, that had gone inside the mortuary. In fact, they are still there. Basically, part of the ritual includes uh, speaking to the late Majesty the Queen and basically telling her it's time to go home. Quite a significant part of uh, the rituals in this regard in where the Zulu maidens will of course pay their last respects. The Izinduna as well from different parts of Johannesburg are also here. Speaking a bit earlier on to the spokesperson of Izinduna in Alexandra, highlighting the important relationship that uh, Izinduna had had uh, with uh, the departed um, uh, uh, King uh, uh, Goodwill Zweli, Tini Kapeg Zulu, and uh, just um, while the family was coming uh, to terms, in fact still mourning Desiree, uh, mourning in a situation where you have the family itself still trying to come to terms, uh, this tragic loss uh, once again. So also here as well uh, from the Gauteng uh, Provincial Government, the MEC of Community Safety, uh, here in Gauteng, uh, Faith Mazibuko, as well as the uh, MEC Lebohang Maile. He is also part of the delegation here. The MEC of Health here in Gauteng is also part of uh, the those who have come uh, to pay their last respects. So Her Majesty will be at Makalema in northern KwaZulu Natal. And um, of course, uh, once uh, the remains move here from Johannesburg, uh, all will then be handed over to uh, exactly in KwaZulu Natal for that interment uh, to take place. So the visuals you're seeing right now, the dignitaries um, from KwaZulu Natal uh, representing uh, the Premier Sisi Zigalala and uh, of course the Gauteng Premier here to pay his uh, last uh, respects. So as we wait for that uh, at this particular moment, uh, Desiree, lots of calls uh, for unity as well. And uh, while the mourning period, while the mourning continues, there are also calls uh, we heard from the Premier of Gauteng this morning calling for... This is quite important, the relationship that uh, the Gauteng province also has uh, with the Zulu royal family. I think I'm going to try and come towards um, uh, this direction here and see if I... All right.
I would not be able to move towards that direction, but we're expecting any moment now uh, the royal family to arrive here at the mortuary, and there are quite a number of uh, delegates. I see uh, not too far from where I am at the moment. It seems there is a convoy that is approaching at this time, and I can only but assume it certainly seems so. It certainly seems so, and uh, I'm just going to ask this gentleman to please kindly move towards this direction. What looks to be the uh, convoy which is uh, arriving, it certainly does look like it is uh, the royal family that is arriving. The royal family that is arriving here at the Johannesburg mortuary. of the royal family now arriving. <laughs> Members of the royal family arriving now share at uh, the Johannesburg mortuary the mortal remains of Her Majesty Queen Mamfomi Zamini Zulu will leave Johannesburg this morning and that I understand uh, to be the host that uh, will carry the mortal remains of Her Majesty. Desiree, I'm really hoping you're able to hear me at this time. You'll forgive us sometimes. Uh, you know, technology could sort of have uh, the best of us. Uh, but I'm told now that all seems to be well. And um, just a bit of protocol uh, taking place here at the moment. family the royal family you will see uh, the cars just right there behind will open up here sorry ma'am Peggy this is the host that will fetch the mortal remains of uh, the departed uh, Queen Her Majesty ma'am Fombi this host being accompanied by family members who just behind are also part of the delegation here the hearse the families are just here at the back some of uh, the other family members have also just parked right behind there a convoy that will leave Johannesburg uh, this morning, the Hartek Premier early indicating the significant 
relationship that the Zulu royal family had had with this province. You'd recall, Desiree, uh, at a time, and I remember covering these quite extensively, when there had been xenophobic attacks uh, uh, here in Gauteng, it had been the departed uh, King Goodwill Zwelitini Kapeg Zulu, who was very instrumental in ensuring that uh, there'd been some peace. Uh, several talks were had with Izinduna here in uh, Gauteng to try and simmer the tensions at the time. So the royal house, uh, having a very special bond with the Gauteng provincial government and uh, that baton, of course, which had then been handed to the departed uh, queen, many calling for that kind of unity and wanting to see peace uh, calls for the Zulu royal family to be resilient during this time. <clears throat> These live pictures from uh, the Johannesburg mortuary, the royal family has arrived. And once the royal family goes inside, the maidens who had arrived here much earlier on had also been here since very early morning and uh, paying their last respects. The rituals, of course, taking place inside. You understand the program uh, won't take very long here, as of course uh, it will be by road that the mortal remains of uh, the departed Majesty Queen Mamfombi Zameni Zulu will, will leave Johannesburg. A very summer moment, uh, you see the members of the royal family now being led towards this direction. They will then, they will then follow the hearse inside. You see there uh, the MEC of the community safety and KwaZulu Natal begging Gonyeni having a, a conversation there with members of uh, the royal family. This as the premier waits uh, right here at the entrance with some of the members of his executive. Here they are, members of uh, the Zulu royal family making their way now to greet the premier of the province. of uh, Gauteng leading the delegation inside the military. The march of the ceremony will take place as the journey continues. The mortal remains of uh, the departed queen Mam Fomi Zameni Zulu will leave
just bear, uh, you just bear with us uh, for a second. Uh, our team, our team, trying to move uh, towards this particular direction. These are live pictures from the Johannesburg Mortuary. Her Majesty the Queen, Mamfombi Flamini Zulu in, will be interred on Thursday as we've been indicating in the Kwa Kangela Makangene, Makangene. She'll be interred at the Kwa Kangela Makangane Palace in Kwanongoma in northern KwaZulu Natal. Quite a large delegation as well. We're going to ask uh, our colleagues uh, if it is possible at this particular stage. There are other visuals uh, towards uh, this uh, particular direction here where tributes continue where tributes continue to pour in. Stay with us on these visuals, please, Ray. Also, uh, tributes uh, have been pouring in for from uh, the president, uh, Sir Ramaphosa. And you would know that um, in terms of uh, what has been uh, communicated, that uh, tributes will continue to pour in and uh, what we heard a bit earlier on uh, from uh, the Gauteng Premier is that there will be several members of uh, the delegation from this province who will also be headed uh, to uh, Guazal Natal to pay their last respects. These live pictures. These live pictures from the. All right, and I think uh, towards the direction from where I am standing, I'm not sure if you'd be able to see. Uh, it seems like uh, there might be Amabutu that are also. Uh, coming up from the street from where we are. We're really hoping to capture that in the next uh, few moments. And all of this part of the tributes. That are being paid uh, to Her Majesty, the Queen. The regent of uh, the Zulu nation, Queen Shiwe, Mamfombi Zamini Zulu, passed away last Thursday at the age of uh, 65. A private uh, burial expected uh, what we understand to be at the crack of dawn on Thursday. That, of course, was announced uh, by the traditional Prime Minister to the Zulu monarch and nation, Prince Mangosutu Mtelezi. 
and this is part of uh, that process. Uh, the body uh, being transported from Johannesburg to the Royal Palace in Kwanongoma. I remember in tributes also um, that were given by uh, the KwaZulu Natal Premier, Sihle uh, Zigalala, indicating that the Queen had uh, dedicated much of her time to uplifting children. Uh, and women, uh, women empowerment was also what um, many have said the Queen will be remembered for. And uh, the Premier also indicating that she played quite a critical role. Her Majesty had uh, played quite a critical role uh, in advising and supporting uh, the late King Goodwill's Willitini Kapeg Zulu. The Zulu Nation in mourning, South Africa too. Still waiting from the uh, position where I am stationed, Desiree. Um, what looked to be Amabutu coming from uh, far towards uh, the direction towards the end of this road, where we were expecting them to come here and um, also pay their tribute. The Queen had passed away at the Mill Park Hospital here in Johannesburg. Her death coming just a month after she was appointed uh, the Regent in accordance uh, with the wishes of her late husband, uh, Keg Goodwill's Velitini Kapeg Zulu. Lots of calls uh, for unity at this time. What we hear being echoed mostly Desiree's calls for unity within the Zulu royal family. Uh, the Congress of uh, traditional leaders of South Africa, we know, has also had, uh, you know, their say in those calls uh, for unity as well. Live pictures as uh, the delegation, the royal family, are uh, still at this particular point inside uh, the mortuary. And uh, once uh, they come out from here, there will, of course, be this convoy that will then leave from here, headed uh, to KwaZulu Natal. Of course, transporting the body, the Amazulu, as well as Iswatini royal families, part of that procession, transporting the body. Her Majesty being accorded a special official provincial category two service. The uh, law enforcement agencies, in terms of uh, the uh, Metro Police here in Johannesburg, will also assist. I understand that there's a route that has been carved out uh, that this procession will take. We hope to bring you uh, some of those visuals live uh, as that procession leaves uh, the mortuary here and heads uh, towards uh, the highway and heads towards uh, KwaZulu Natal. Last night, they'd been over 100 Zulu maidens or Izindombi that had basically braved the cold weather 
and that held a night vigil exactly here where we are standing at uh, this particular point. And uh, I recall speaking to the General Secretary of uh, Imbumba, Yamasiko in Gauteng, Nogukanya Kubeka, who'd uh, explained to us that um, what was happening was part of the mourning process, how they'd mourn in, mourned in prayers and uh, the showing sympathy and how they feel, indicating they're grateful for what uh, Her Majesty uh, had shown them during her time. And they indicated they have more than 6,000 maidens in Gauteng because of the contribution of Her Late Majesty. The Royal Palace of Kwakangela uh, Magengane is where she will be interred. This is part, of course, of that process. This is where it begins and in KwaZulu Natal is where it will end Kwanongoma in northern KwaZulu Natal. She will be buried uh, in private. We do understand that Ibuto are also coming in from this particular direction. We'll, you'll see some of those these visuals in just a moment. And these are the male regiments, Desiree. The male regiments who play a very important role uh, as part of this process. You'd recall. I'll just leave you to some of this, Desiree. Coming from Montanaba Minya, the front ones, and then behind them is Ibuto. So they are coming from Nongomo, all of them. Yes. To come and, and, and take the, the the queen from the remains of the queen from, from the mortuary back home.
He's leading the what you call the, the praise songs. And uh, they've been with the Queen for some time. And the, the Queen, remember those mom who were singing here? Yeah. The Queen, it, she took them from MCing out of nowhere. Then the Queen revived. And she revived the unit and, and sent them to go and teach the, the, the young ones to stick on culture, to stick on tradition, to stick on customs. And then from there they revived the, this Isigoli Lokolo Vintom, which is the red dance. Then he united, all this is done to unite the Zulus and to stick on culture. When, when one person departs, especially from the royal family, the Amuto, the Amuto are the ones who must come and, and take care of the remains and uh, give that dignity. We remember the past years, the, the Amabuto were the ones who were a stronghold of, 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 of everything within the, the culture of the Zulus. Now, they've come here to show their respect to the regent, who was the queen of the late Isilo Samabandu. Yeah. 
Oh! <laughs> 
Franz Kai. Bro, you know every time I see you on TV, how can you the picture I still have at home? It was you and the other girl. You guys can come out, I'll tell you when to come back again. Please stay on the line with me. Isikati Soguli la Guisizwe Sa Gazulu. Chriselda Bear bringing us the latest. We'll go back to her as soon as there are developments.